Hi and Nihao from Hangzhou, China. Today at the Hu Chunitang Pharmacy with the topic um, about how to be able to seek a Chinese medicine doctor in China. So once you are getting to China and at the moment uh, it's very hot, you might not feel that comfortable or you would just like to try out Chinese medicine, why not to try in one of these clinics? Uh, this is the clinic which is affiliated with the Hu Chunitang Pharmacy just in front of me and uh, I'm going to explain you more about the first steps, actually what you have to take to see and to consult a Chinese medicine doctor. Okay, are you ready? Then let's go in. Let's begin. Okay. So as you can see already, everything is just written in Chinese. And this is our first question, what we already have over here. Because, um, uh, we would like to consult a Chinese medicine doctor. We have some kind of introductions about Chinese medical doctors over here. Maybe you know already a doctor would, uh, what would you like to consult about. But the first problem is, uh, for example, I'm feeling uh, a little bit tired. I don't have good appetite. I have a hard time in the morning to get up and I really feel quite weak. I don't have enough energy at daytime, so we often talk about spleen deficiency. So would it be acupuncture, would it be toina, or would it be herbal medicine? So this is already the first problem what we have over here, because we do not get uh, an information. What kind of illness is uh, best to choose what kind of method? So we have to choose the method actually on our own. For the symptoms, what I was just uh, describing, it would be good to use herbal medicine. And uh, the first step, what we're gonna take over here is to get a consultation ticket. Again, everything is usually just written in Chinese and so we need to ask for Gua Hao. Gua Hao is a consultation ticket for a Chinese medicine doctor. Um, it starts from 20 RMB and it may go up to 100 RMB according to um, the experience of the doctor who we would like to consult and so uh, this kind of fee is including our consultation time is including the diagnosis but is not including the herbal medicine for example if we choose the herbal medicine department and we would like to get some herbal medicine uh, to take it at home we would have to pay extra for this so once you get a consultation ticket over here you would have to choose your doctor. And we get uh, some kind of introductions, what we have over here. So all of these doctors introduce themselves over here, of course, with their name and with their speciality, what kind of department they are working in, what kind of illnesses they are mostly seen. And this is what Chinese people usually bring with themselves because they have been growing up with Chinese medicine. They probably uh, went here already quite a long time and they also know which kind of doctor to choose. Maybe they already have this kind of contact, but for foreigners, it is quite hard actually to choose which kind of doctor. Also, to see in which kind of daytime these doctors are working. So this is the afternoon time, and we have the names of the doctors over here. Again, everything in Chinese, which doesn't make it easier. Um, so, Back again to the doctors, Yi Sheng, or we can also say Lao Shi, which is like teacher, or Yi Shi, which is also a medical doctor. So we start with Yi Sheng, and if it's about to seek an illness, we can also say Kan Bing. So like Kan Bing means like to consult for an illness or to consult a Chinese medicine doctor. So once we got our consultation ticket, in this uh, clinic, which is one of three affiliated clinics with the Hu Chunitang Pharmacy, we have to go to the second floor and we have to see the private room of the doctor. And uh, I'm going to show you a little bit more right now. So please just follow me over here. So once we got our consultation ticket, we are going up to the second floor and we are waiting in the waiting room where usually Chinese patients are waiting uh, to see their names showed off on a screen which we have here in our background. So, of course, everything again is in Chinese, but uh, if we come here and we have our foreign name, so it will be shown on this screen. It will also show the room, which number of the room we have to go for and the name of the doctor. So we simply have to patiently wait. 
But that's not the general condition in China because usually people are waiting directly in the doctor's clinic. So uh, talking about privacy is what Chinese people usually uh, share with themselves because they are already waiting inside the clinic of a Chinese medicine doctor. And so they take the opportunity to get into exchange and to talk a little bit about their illnesses and maybe about some kind of personal experience. And so this is slightly different to what we know from our Western perspective. So let's see if we can meet another Chinese doctor and may take a look over her shoulder. Here we are back with another insight into the Tuina and acupuncture department where usually patients go to get an acupuncture treatment. Well, if I chose the herbal medicine, the room looks slightly different. At the moment, there is no door open because all the doctors are busy working over here. And uh, yeah, it's also the lunch time, so we don't have that many patients here in the inside. So as you already can see, it can be quite challenging a little bit to find your way around uh, these clinics and to make it a little bit easier I was just making this kind of introduction video. Tuina, Zenju, Zenju is acupuncture. Tuina, of course, says the word is the Tuina massage therapy. Or we ask for Zhong Yao, which is the herbal medicine. So please keep in mind, Gua Hao is like first getting a consultation ticket because of Kan Bing, because you want to seek, you want to consult a Chinese medicine doctor using Zenju, acupuncture, or Tuina, or even Zhongyao, herbal medicine. Okay, let's see what we can find here again. Okay, we can take a short look now in the inside on how a medical consultation room looks like if we ask about herbal medicine. So we can see that the doctor is sitting here in the inside who is just consulting a patient who is probably asking for herbal medicine. The room is uh, quite empty, which is not always like that, because as I said, like a lot of Chinese people prefer to wait in the inside to be the early bird, uh, to be uh, the first one who arrives, will always also be the first one who get the consultation. Well, in Chinese medicine in the past, everything was written down as a calligraphy, so it also was quite an art to write down the formula, to write down the diagnosis, what we have over here. And so on and so on. So uh, in ancient times, the Chinese medicine doctor was also quite, smart, quite much skilled in the calligraphy. At the moment, everything is also taking place by uh, computers. So uh, not only the diagnosis, but the prescription, of course, is also written down in uh, the computer system. Yeah, we have another uh, nice example over here of uh, Manjen. This is Manjen, which is the clinic, Qing Shanglo. So to go to the consultation room, to the clinic, please go upstairs. Manjen. Shangxia Lo Ti is like going up or going down. Um, at the stairs and please to watch out Xiao Xin Tai Ji. So this is, uh, yeah, it can be quite challenging to find your way through. That's why I'm making these kind of manuals. So I'm back in the first floor and uh, we got some impressions of how it looks like over here. And uh, I hope uh, that these kind of short and simple introductions into medical Mandarin and about how to seek or consult a Chinese medicine doctor will give you some help. Um, I'm going out now and uh, I will try to see if I can find the place where I can actually get my herbal medicine. Yeah, at the moment we are at lunchtime over here so no one is working because these uh, pharmacists are taking a break. But this is the place where you will go with your receipt, what you would get from your Chinese medical doctor. You will then have to put it on the desk and these pharmacists will put together your individual and personal formula or also called the fang ji which consists of different kind of herbs zhong yao so fang ji is the formula what you have to ask for and uh, as you already can see like we have hundreds of chinese of herbs over here which are stored in these nice 
uh, stores over here, and I also spent uh, a couple of months in the Chinese herbal pharmacy of learning the uh, different kind of herbal medicine over here. So this is the Zhong Yao Fang. We can also call it the pharmacy, and we are waiting to get our Fang Ji, the formula or the receipt. Okay, we are back outside now. It's again freaking hot and I'm starting to sweat again. Maybe I also need some kind of help to seek help of a Chinese medicine doctor. And I was just meeting Dr. Wang Jianmin, who's over 70 years already, but still working in the herbal medicine department. He's specialized in respiratory disease and he's also prescribing the Gaofang. Of course, not in summer because Gaofang is some kind of special herbal medicine like some kind of compressed, compromised medicine which you eat during the winter time to get stronger for the next spring and for the upcoming year. So I hope for everyone you enjoyed these small lectures. I will be back with new lessons and new insights about uh, how to seek a doctor, how to consult a doctor, talk about herbal medicine and I'm also looking forward to start my teachings at Zhejiang Chinese Medical University over here in Hangzhou, which is starting in a couple of days. So if you have any more questions or you would like to get in personal contact with me, my name is Tim Wukan and I have been studying in Hangzhou over 12 years and I'm very happy to hear from you. Yeah, maybe even to meet you here in person and to join our day tours in the Hu Chunitang Pharmacy. We have a Chinese medicine museum in the inside we will guide you through the local Chinese clinics and we will get you closer with Chinese medicine in Hangzhou, China. So greetings from me today over here. Wish you all a happy and a healthy time. Thank you for listening and joining. Bye-bye and Zaijian. -bye.